The three Grenadians escapees initially detained in relation to a series of crimes, including rape and robbery with violence, now find themselves at the heart of a murder investigation, according to reports from the Eyewitness News in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. In the past week, the individuals identified as 30-year-old Ron Mitchell, 25-year-old Trevon Robertson, and 23-year-old Atiba Stanislaus attracted significant attention from law enforcement and the media following their escape from the South St. George Police Station and their subsequent recapture in neighboring St. Vincent. According to a statement from the Royal Grenada Police Force, initial details from investigators in St. Vincent suggest that the trio arrived in the country via a yacht, which was previously docked in the St. George area and later found unoccupied in St. Vincent. Vincentian journalist Kenton Chance in a live broadcast on Friday morning, highlighted that the three men are prime suspects in the disappearance of two U.S. nationals. The missing couples, Ralph Hendry and Cathy Brandall, were last known to be aboard their yacht named Simplicity, the same one found unoccupied in St. Vincent. uh, Police are looking into a a theory or the possibility, well, uh, from what we know, there are two um, U.S. nationals who are believed to have been on board this vessel who are unaccounted for and from what I hear from uh, my sources they are presumed to be dead and are seriously injured and this information is based on um, the Caribbean uh, Safety and Security Net I hope I have the name um, correctly but this is a, a, a an entity that tracks crimes against uh, sailors. They said upon inspection, it was found that the yacht had been ransacked and it was apparently a violent act. It was apparent, sorry, a violent act had taken place. Copious amounts of blood were found in the master stateroom and the two owners were missing. Chance confirmed that officers from the Royal Grenada Police Force has been deployed to St. Vincent and the Grenadines and are actively collaborating with authorities there to investigate the matter. And police have launched a homicide investigation. This is a joint investigation between police in Grenada and police in St. Vincent and uh, the, the Grenada police have said and the police in St. Vincent have confirmed that detectives from Grenada were dispatched to St. Vincent, including a forensics uh, specialist, to as part of that investigation to find out um, what happened to those two UN, um, UN nationals. Uh, I came here primarily to try to get a photograph of the yacht, but when I when I got here, I realized that there are detectives on board the yacht. Uh, and my understanding is that uh, the Grenadian suspects are also there. Presently, the yacht is anchored at the main Coast Guard base on the southern coast of St. Vincent. The apprehension of the three Grenadian men took place during a well-coordinated operation executed by members of the Narcotics and Rapid Response Unit in a house near the beach in the northwestern village of Pitti Bodal, St. Vincent. And based on the information, the tracking information on uh, from that yacht, police were able to determine that the yacht sailed from Grenada to St. Vincent sometime between, I think, 10 p.m. on Sunday and 3 p.m. on uh, Monday. And then on Wednesday, police here in St. Vincent, they launched an operation in Petibadel, which is a community on the northwestern coast of St. Vincent, and they apprehended the three Grenadians there. And one of them was shot in the process, and I understand uh, he was at least earlier today receiving medical attention. Greenepper Thomas, GBN News.